All right, in this lecture, we're going to create the Apple TV app icon. Now, know that you need to create two different app icons. There is a small size and a big size. Now, something you have to understand about the app icons, they're a bit more involved than for an iPhone app or an iPad app, in the sense that an icon has multiple layers. It's not just one plain image. It's two to, two to six, uh, oh, I'm sorry, two to four layers of images. Now, what am I talking about is that your image can do this and have some kind of an effect. As you can see, it seems that the back is moving. That's called a layered image because it's done out of multiple um, images and it looks like it's a little bit in 3D when it has focus. So that's what we're going to be creating here. How do we do this? It's pretty straightforward. We're going to uh, get two images, but you can feel free to go to uh, three, uh, three images. And actually, we're going to go and we're going to do three images just for the sake of learning. So. Um, as you can see here, I have two images right here. I have a tic-tac-toe right here, and I have a chalkboard, all right? So that's what I'm going to be using to create a tic-tac-toe. So I'm going to right-click on both and do Open with Adobe Photoshop, all right? Now that I have Adobe Photoshop open, what I'm going to do... By the way, you can use GIMP, that's uh, G-I-M-P, or uh, you can download it on GIMP.org, or you can go to sumopaint.com. All right, but if you have any other, feel free to use any other tool. All right, so first of all, let's take a look at the, the size that we need. Um, if you go to the website, it will tell you the two sizes. You need uh, a small icon that's 400 times 240 pixels and, a, and one that's 1000, uh, 1280 by 768. So the easiest is to go with the biggest size and then scale down. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so... 1280 times 768. So I'm going to do File, New, and I'm going to do width of 1280 pixel times 768, and then click OK. By the way, make sure you're in pixels. All right, here we go. Now what I'm going to do is take the chalkboard, do Command A, Command C to copy this, go back here and do Command V to paste. Now it's way too big, so I'm going to press Command T to transform this down. Right. By the way, I downloaded this um, this uh, stuff for free on the website, so I'm going to show you which website I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to put it here. I went to openclipart.org. That's totally free clipart to use for anyone, so feel free to use them for your apps or your games. All right, and I just uh, type chalkboard, and here you go. You have plenty of chalkboards to use, and uh, you can use anything else. You don't have to just do uh, chalkboards. You can also do... Um, um, tic-tac-toe or anything else, all right? As you can see, tic-tac-toe. There we go. As you can see, that's the one I got here. All right. Now, going back there. I, I pasted that here. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to paint the background of a different color. I'm going to do I for the eye drop and I'm going to select this color. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. All right, that will do. And I'm going to press the G for the bucket and press here. All right, that will do. Now, next thing I want to do is add the tic-tac-toe here. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to need this anymore. I'm going to close that. And right here, this is the tic-tac-toe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert the colors because I want this to be like a chalk color, which is white, not black. So I'm going to do image, um, adjustment, replace color. I'm going to select the black color, and I'm going to replace this with white. So I'm going to take the fuzziness up, all right, and I'm going to take the white color here and press OK. That's it, so I just replaced the color. If I'm going too fast, is that because you don't have to do that? You can actually draw it yourself. You can even draw it on a piece of paper and take a, 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 a picture with uh, your phone, remember, and just add it here. All right, so I'm going to copy this all, Command A, Command C, go back here and paste it, Command V. All right, now it's in the back, so I'm going to put it in the front, and I'm going to press Command T to make it smaller. I'm going to make it to 50, 40%, that should do it. Let's see. Okay, it's still a bit too big, so I'm going to take it down again. Okay, that looks um, a little bit too small still, so I'm going to make it to 30%. Too big, 26%, perfect. Press Enter. All right, so now I have the chalkboard, and I have that too. So what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to take the, um, the, um, the, 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 the cross and the circles, and I'm going to extract them to make, to make the thir a third layer. 
these two layers, I'm going to merge them together, Command E. All right, so that's one layer, two layers, but I'm going to select this by pressing the, the Shift key to keep selecting. All right, keep going, keep going. By the way, that's too much here, so I'm going to press Alt to remove a little bit here. All right, and Shift here to take a little bit here that I probably missed. All right, and shift again to keep selecting the two last ones. All right, so I selected basically all the crosses and circles, and I'm going to press Command X. There we go, and Command Shift V to paste in place. All right, so not much happened, but here, this one is the board. Uh, I'm sorry, let me call lines. These are the lines, and these are the uh, circles and crosses. All right, so I do have three layers. Now, I need to save the three layers, so I'm going to press File. Uh, now, I'm just going to take the, the circles and crosses. I'm going to do File, Save for Web, and I'm going to save this as a PNG file. So I'm going to save this inside of my desktop, um, and I'm going to save as, as a copy, and I'm going to save this as a PNG file. All right, and I'm going to call this one um, uh, Crosses. Dot .png and save. All right. Now I'm going to save the next one, which is just the uh, the lines. The shortcut is Command Alt Shift S. I repeat, Command Alt Shift S to save for web. And I'm going to put a PNG file here. And I have the uh, I have the right dimensions here. I believe I do. 1280 times 6, 768. That looks a bit too small. Let me double check. That's correct. Okay. I'm going to click on save, and I'm going to call this one lines, and save. All right, and the final layer is the board. Command Alt Shift S and save. Make sure it's a PNG file and call this one board. All right, so we have the three now. What I'm going to do is go to Xcode, and if you go within the Tic Tac Toe Apple TV, you'll see there's a folder called Assets.exe Assets. Once you click there, you will see the app icon large and app icon small within the app icon and top shelf. So click on the app icon large. And you need to put at least three images, so the back, the middle, and the front. And that's what we created. So go to your finder and look for what we just created within the desktop. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to take the ball, which is the back, and I'm going to drag and drop this in the back. And as you can see, um, it's appearing in the back. Let's drag and drop this here. Oh, the ball went there, so that's wrong. I gotta remove this. That's not what we want. All right, I gotta put it. I gotta put them here. Okay. So we have the back. That's good. Now let's do the middle. I'm gonna take the lines for the middle and paste it here. All right. And then I'm gonna do the the crosses and I'm gonna put that for the front. There we go. And now. We, uh, we will be able to see the final result here, okay? And you can actually play with it and start moving it. All right? As you can see, you can move that. All right. Okay, so there's something going on with the back. Um, I guess I'll have to put it back here because somehow uh, it seems that it's a bug, but uh, that's an easy fix. The easy fix is just to take, um, to take the, uh, the back again and put it in the other one because as you can see, the back is repeating twice. But that's okay, that's easily fixable. I'm going to take the back, which is the board, and drag and drop it here. Okay, so now let's look at the final result. Somehow it's not perfect. There's two backs. I don't know why it's not showing here. Um, I'm going to remove this one and see if that solves the problem. Let's see. Yes, that was it. So I removed an extra back, and now we can see our nice icon in 3D that's actually moving. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so in the next lecture, we're going to take care of doing the app icon small, okay, the small size. See you guys in the next lecture.